You may have heard us mention before that car shoppers are more and more interested in SUVs, and that's proven true for Hyundai as well. In fact, last year, a greater proportion of Hyundai's US sales were SUVs than ever before. This is one of Hyundai's bread and butter models, the Santa Fe Sport. It fits in between the Tucson and the Santa Fe, and it was updated last year. So let's dive in and see what it's like. How does it look? Well, it looks like a crossover. Hyundai's familiar grille design and swept back headlights define the nose, and there are cool LED tail lights and a faux skid plate effect out back. It's not a particularly memorable design, but don't think that's damning the Santa Fe Sport with faint praise. It looks just fine for its mission as an everyday family SUV. How's the storage? With the back seats up, you get 35 cubic feet of trunk space, and when you fold them down flat, that expands to as much as 71.5 cubic feet of space. That's nearly as much storage room as you get in something like a Honda CRV. And if you need to hide away smaller items, there's also these handy underfloor storage spaces too. There's a good amount of space to store your belongings in the center console compartment, plus a handy space up front by the power points for stashing a phone or wallet. You get two cup holders in the center console, plus additional beverage storage in the door pockets. Is it roomy? Even with the panoramic sunroof, there's plentiful headroom up front, and it's easy to find a comfortable driving position with lots of legroom. In the second row, things are spacious too, and I appreciate that the seats slide back and forward and recline, letting you optimize seating space and comfort to your needs. How does the interior feel? The cabin is a nice enough place to spend time. It's really easy to see all the gauges and use all the switches. But in a general sense, the materials here, well, they look and feel kind of middle of the road among compact crossovers. This one being the fully loaded up Ultimate model has nice leather and wood trim on the dashboard. But I don't know that any of those materials are necessarily head and shoulders better than any of this car's direct rivals. Is it well equipped? The Santa Fe Sport can be loaded up with pretty much all the tech features we expect in modern crossovers, with goodies like heated and cooled seats, a heated steering wheel, lane departure and blind spot warnings, a surround view camera, automatic climate control, a giant sunroof, and a power liftgate. How's the infotainment system? While other models have 5 or 7 inch touchscreens, this ultimate version has an 8 inch touchscreen infotainment system. It's quick in its responses and simple to use, with physical shortcut buttons, built-in navigation, and standard support for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It's worth noting that the 5-inch screen on low-trim models does not offer CarPlay or Android Auto, and built-in navigation is only available on this top-tier Ultimate trim level. Is it a good daily driver? Yes, it is. I've been driving the Santa Fe Sport around this week, and it's really, really easy to jump in and live with. Like a lot of Hyundais I've driven lately, all the controls are easy to use, all the gauges are easy to read, it's got a nice ride, a nice smooth six-speed automatic transmission, it's reasonably quiet here. There's a lot that will leave you pretty satisfied if you're using this as your daily driver. Is it fun to drive? The base Santa Fe Sport has a 2.4 liter engine with 185 horsepower, but I'm driving the 2 liter turbo model with 240 horsepower and 260 pound feet of torque. So certainly it's plenty brisk when you put your foot down. So while it's got a lot more horsepower than most of its direct rivals, when it comes to steering, handling, and braking, well, the Santa Fe Sport feels just like most of its rivals. That is to say, it's not particularly thrilling to drive most of the time. And that's fine because that's not really what we look for in this class of cars. To be honest, I'm more focused on the fact that it's got a pretty compliant ride and a quiet cabin when I'm on the move. How's the fuel economy? As this is the all-wheel drive model with the turbo engine, fuel economy is only 19 miles per gallon city and 24 mpg highway. But if you get the Santa Fe Sports base engine with front-wheel drive, those figures climb as high as 21 city and 27 highway, which is still far from the best in the class. How much is it? Santa Fe Sport pricing lines up reasonably closely with what you'd pay for rivals in this space, with base prices ranging from just under $26,000 up to $38,000. That's a little pricier than some competitors on the top end, especially once you get the 2-liter turbo engine. 
This test car as equipped here lists for $39,875. What are the negatives? Even with this turbo engine, the Santa Fe Sport isn't particularly fun to drive, and its fuel economy ratings lag behind the best in the class. Who should buy it? The Hyundai Santa Fe Sport is roomy, easy to drive, and it offers a lot of equipment. Now, it may not be our absolute favorite crossover in this size or price range, but there's a lot to like if you're looking for a new, affordable, everyday family SUV.